Hello everybody. For this video, I want to show you how to make YouTube shorts using Stadia clips. Because of the Stadia clips format, it's kind of hard to download them and throw them in just any video editor. So I found the fastest and easiest way to do it using your YouTube app on your phone. If you're an Android user, there's two options that you can install on your phone. You can either do the Android app, which is the white circle with the red logo, or you can do the web app, which is the, I guess, the square kind of funky looking logo. If you're an Apple user, then the only option you have is the web app, which is actually what we're going to be using because of the Android app not having a download feature. So first, let me show you how the Android app looks and why it's not the best one to use. So this is the Android app loading up. If you uh, click on captures and game states, uh, you'll see the list of your images and videos. Uh, you'll notice that when you select an image or a video, you won't have a download uh, button. You can share it. You can get a link, uh, a shareable link, but there won't be a way to just directly download it. Now with the web app, if you go down to captures and game states, you'll notice that when you select uh, an image or a video, if you look at the top right next to the share button, there's a download button. You click that. And now it's very important that you wait for it to download completely. And so we're going to go ahead and launch the YouTube app. Once you get to the screen, there's a plus button on the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. And then right after that, you can click the create a short button. Once you've clicked create short, you're going to get a live view. You can click on the bottom left thumbnail to bring up your videos. On the top right, you'll see 15 seconds. You can make 15 seconds or 60 second clips, or you can do a combination of both. So maybe you can do a five second uh, clip of one video and then a 10 second clip of another video for a total of 15 seconds. We're going to keep it at 15 seconds for now. We're going to click on the thumbnail on the bottom left to bring up our clips. Once you select the clip, it's going to automatically start playing. You can kind of you have a 15 second scrubber down at the bottom that you can adjust. This is a 30 second clip. So we're going to try to scrub it down to for the best 15 seconds, which is somewhere around the end where uh, yeah, when I end up hitting this vehicle in front of me, the purple vehicle up in midair. So there we go. We're going to uh, go ahead and end the clip right there. Then I'll hit the button for done as it'll, it's going to process and it'll give me the full, full 15 seconds. Now, this is where I got confused a little bit. It brought me back to the live screen. So I wasn't sure what to do the very first time that I did it. But that means you already have a 15 second clip up on the top. So all you have to do is hit that check mark at the bottom right and you, it's going to send you over to your clip uh, for for review. And then once you know that that's the clip you want, you hit next and then you can start typing in the captions. You won't be able to monetize it or anything, but you can set it to public, private. Uh, I think you might uh, or unlisted. That's the other option. And so once you do that, name the whole clip, you hit upload short. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same 30 second clip and use the beginning and the end of it. So I'll launch it the first time. I, uh, I'll scrub it down to where I want the first, I think, five seconds six seconds something like that i figure so we got those f first five seconds where i'm getting hit i hit done okay i'm just reviewing it to make sure that's what i want i hit done and then you'll notice on the top you see that out of the 15 seconds uh the first five seconds are already uh, programmed in i guess you can say and so we'll bring up the uh, the clips again <clears throat> choose the exact same clip but this time i have 10 seconds left and i'm going to make sure that it's the last 10 seconds uh right at it right up to the point where i hit the ground after hitting him midair and so boom 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 i hit the ground and then somewhere around there so i probably adjusted this for a little bit and so that's what we do we hit done and now i have a 15 seconds short with uh the beginning and the end of this the same clip and so you can do that obviously with different clips you can make it a 60 second uh, short with multiple clips you just would have to like scrub through each of the clips and put them together and that's the way to edit so now i'm reviewing make sure that it is the way that i want it to be i hit next and now i can title it uh, payback because he hit me first and then i got back to him and yeah and then once you put all the tags and everything you just hit the publish and it'll send it to your youtube channel because i had trouble with this i do want to share that if you don't let the thumbnail load completely or the clip download completely what's going to happen is 
when you click on the clip that wasn't fully downloaded or thumbnail wasn't fully re uh, loaded, uh, you're going to get that message at the bottom where it says unable to preview video. I've done tons of things to try to see if I can revert that so that I can use that clip and I, I can't figure it out. So if any of you guys figure it out, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Uh, like I said, you can do 15 uh, second video, 60 second videos using multiple clips. Uh, the, uh, the main takeaway from this is that this is the fastest way that I've been able to create YouTube shorts from the Stadia clips that I captured. Thanks everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you have subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.